The Shadow, a play by Rosa Jamali, translated from original Persian into English by the author, read by the author. Scene, a room, a table, and behind that a window, some pages of a newspaper, a knife, a jar, a glass and two chairs, small waste bin in the corner under the window, potato sacks around it, a chest of drawers and furniture, a full-length mirror on the wall. The room is half dark, two women who are totally alike, both wearing long black dresses. They have covered their hair in black head scarves. At the beginning of the play, noise of people which gradually goes off. The first woman enters from the right. She is totally afraid and tries to hide herself in the curtains. She makes sure nobody is in room, tries to look into the things in the room, and the newspaper on the table attracts her attention. First wife reads from the newspaper, the police has arrested 11 women who looked like the murderer, reads the rest of pa paragraph with her eyes silently, I should hide it somewhere, hastily opens the second page of newspaper, looks like me, folds the newspaper and throws it into the dustbin in the corner of the room, tries to keep calm, looking for something at the table, rummaging the room, what? What day is it today? The newspaper is for Sunday, Sunday the 2nd of Azar of 1386. Okay, today is Tuesday. Perhaps the murderer has been found by now. Here is so dark, probably belongs to somebody, the landowner. The landlord reads newspaper and will come back by now, by night. I should have picked up my son. I'm worried about him. She looks on the wall in search of a clock. Why there is no clock here? It's terrible that there is no clock in this house. What's the time? It's so dark that we cannot get the time. As if there is a rat in the fold of curtains. There is a rat in the curtains. The curtains of this house has rats. What if I hang myself here? I cannot run away. It's made me tired. Oh, no. I should keep calm. I should find a solution. Nobody's here. Nobody could have been here. If anybody enters, I would say I have rented this place. This piece of paper in, in my pocket is the lease for this place. What do you want from me? Or I could say, this is the wrong place. You've come to the wrong address. You're wrong. Here is not the place you, you were looking for, rummaging. Looks for something in her dress. Oh my God, I lost my ID. How can I prove my identity? If anybody could believe who I am, how could they believe that I'm not the one they're looking for? I swear I'm not. I swear to God, I'm somebody else. She is broken into tears. Second wife enters from the left side of the stage as if somebody has been chasing her, enters the room panting. Her eyes are mingled to the eyes of the first woman's eyes. Both are surprised and astonished. No, no, no. The first woman is appalled and takes a sudden move. The room gets lighter. First wife. Oh, he stop, stop there. You're not allowed to come in. You're not allowed to come in. You're not, you cannot come in. Second wife, panting. But why? First wife. I said you're not allowed to come in. Didn't you hear me? I said you cannot come in. Second wife. But I guess I came to the right place. First wife, what are you speaking about? Second wife, I know my way and I'm sure I came to the right place. I'm sure I came to the right place. Don't you think so? First wife, no. Second wife, don't you think I came to the right place? First wife, perhaps. Indifferent. Second wife, I came to the right place. 
Can't you recall me? Don't you think I came to the right place, didn't I? First wife, nodding her head. That's right. Second wife, all right. Call. Gained her composure. Silence. The first woman looks anxious while the second woman is calm. First wife. He looks quite calm and serious. What's the time? Excuse me, have you got a watch? I wanted to ask the time. Awkwardly. You came in with no permission. Now tell me the time. Second wife. Doubtfully. I came to the right place. Time? Why do you want to know the time? First wife. No, you didn't. You're quite wrong and there is no clock here. You should tell me the time or I'll send you out. You came in without a permission. Second wife. Does it matter what the time is? Basically time is not that important. Watch is basically a toy to escape the moments. Does it matter to you then? First wife. Yes, sometimes. Sometimes it plays a role, like now. Time is really vital. It's important to have a clock or watch around. Tell me the time or I'll kick you out, girlie. Second wife. You don't need to know the time. Very trivial thing. What are you thinking about now? It doesn't matter, not a bit. First wife. Yes, it's important. As far as I know, time is an important thing. Second wife. It's around one now. First wife. One? Second wife. Yeah, one in the afternoon. First wife. No, one. Such a bad luck. I should have been at school by now to pick up my son. It's late now. Second wife. I see such a misfortune i'm sorry you're late but it's not my fault don't put the blame on me i'm just sorry deeply sorry first wife you didn't say a word why you came here you didn't tell me about your story second wife a dog was chasing me i was just walking then a dog followed me first wife a dog was chasing you Second wife, yes. First wife, I guess a more important creature was following you. Second wife, perhaps, but I'm sure it was a dog. It looked like a dog. First wife, are you looking for something now? Second wife, no, for what? I'm not sure. I'm look not looking for something. I'm not sure of some myself. I'm not looking for anything. Yes, I'm looking for something. That's something I'm looking for. You know what it is? After some moments of thinking, I guess I'm finding it. Oh yeah, I found it. First wife, you found it? What's that? What did you find? What could it be? You came here and you found it? In my house? No. Angry. What did you find in my house? Second wife. Nothing. I haven't found anything. They're both silent. But after some moments, the first woman breaks the silence. First wife. You're hiding something. What's that? And you don't think that I know? I know everything. The second woman is silent silent not everybody escapes why did you come here this means something do you think you are finding something this way you have come here to hide you're just acting do you think they cannot find you do you think i don't know that you're running away you're hiding here sharply you ran away from the police didn't you Second wife. What? What are you speaking about? It's not clear what you're saying. What are you talking about? Not clear to me. And why are you quiet? First wife. Yes, it's much better to be quiet. The curtains of this house have mice. 
They cannot trust the walls. And then the wind takes the news and tells everybody in the city about it. Let's not speak loud. There's something in the city between you and me. Second wife. Silence. What's that? What is it that only you and I know about it? You're hiding that from me and I'm hiding it from you. What could it be? Why don't you confess that? Why are you keeping quiet? Don't you want to say a word? I guess you're afraid of something. You're afraid to speak. First wife looks into a mirror in anger. Afraid of what? Second wife afraid of your own shadow. You are in fight with yourself or afraid of somebody outside. Perhaps you're fighting with me, with your body outside you, with me, with your shadow, your body outside you. Are you afraid of your own shadow? She takes a glance on the window and then she turns back. Silence. Second. Can I help you? Would you like me to pick up your son? first wife you needn't why did you become so kind to me second wife don't worry then go and take your son and I look after the house first wife never second wife and you think I cannot watch the house or you think a thief is coming or you think I'll take the sacks and leave or you think you cannot put your trust in me and we should call the police first wife what you came to my house and you want to send me out i'm leaving to pick up my son and you're not allowed to stay here i let you in and you became rude what did you say in my own house how do you want to do that how do you want to do that you dare not doing that second wife do you think I cannot do that what kind of permission does it need what kind of courage does it need it doesn't need that it's not clear whether this place belongs to me or you you want to send me out but I believe you're guilty not bad to look into the pa that paper first wife there is no paper here second wife yes it is in the waste basket first wife it's better you look at yourself in the mirror she looks into the mirror second wife turns back oh no i don't need it i put on enough of makeup in the morning i'm not a captive of mirrors are you one of those women who always need a mirror always staring into mirror if they have chain they could change the shape of their eyebrows or lips to give a new meaning to them you wear your earrings and you go to the mirror if you have changed as if you have changed but there is no change you haven't become more beautiful and mirrors show you the same size <sighs> deep silence above that mumbling as if there is a mirror in front of me I'd better not look at you nor into the mirror why are you standing in front of me damn damn she says that in anger they're both silent for some minutes first wife what's your job what do you do second wife I'm mother of a child a son first wife just that second wife are you doing something else first wife no I'm a housewife pause this is my house leave my house second wife now this is not just yours this is my house too I'm a housewife too first wife pause this is my job. I'm a housewife. And so are you. Good. What's your house? Where's your house? Not here. Here? 
I'm a housewife and this is my house. You should prove that you are a housewife. Second wife. No proof for being a housewife. <laughs> Everybody accepts that. Even the police. First wife. What shall we do then? Shall we call the police then? Second wife. Looks into mirror. How can one do that? Is it possible? How can I call the police? I doubt if it's right because I got stuck here they might prove that the here is not our house and we are not housewives we haven't been wrong and we're running away from the mirrors but you are not supposed to stand here and stare into my eyes what shall I do when you're like a mirror in front of me how could we do that pause in a solemn firm tone looks into the mirror and the woman in fear then then I shouldn't say anything I shouldn't say that that we are fortunately totally alike wants to pour some water for herself but the jar falls down and breaks light goes off light comes back first wife what do you want to do now second wife what shall we do now first wife it's one now the owner would come back by seven o'clock we can stay here till seven. Second wife it's a long time till seven first wife we can make ourselves busy second wife give me that newspaper first wife what do you want to do with that newspaper second wife looks into the rubbish and finds the newspaper turns the pages over and something catches her eyes oh look at this how to make a salad what you need potatoes and knife looks into the potato sack we've got potatoes over there she keeps reading what make the shape we make the shapes out of potatoes and let them fry first wife tell me how many potatoes we need second wife six did you know that potatoes are very good for body they have a lot of benefits and cure different diseases they prevent osteoporosis and pig flu forget the taste you need them for their benefits and for your health first wife yeah we can create all the shapes knife is on the table and its taste is okay second wife did you know that last year was the international year of potatoes then there was a potato shortage have you got a knife first wife yeah there is a knife here second wife give it to me first wife no let me have it second wife I said give it to me I can make perfect salads I never use dicers. I always chop and shred and dice on my own, always orderly and in a right shape. My hands have been made for making salads. I know how to work with a knife, cut in a perfect way. You know how well I can chop things? Shape it like square and cut out them as if I have used a ruler. First wife. No way. I cannot make perfect salads but knife is something I know well and here is my house and the knife shouldn't be for you here is my house and the knife is my, in my kitchenware second wife who said this house belongs to you you came just some minutes sooner than I first wife whatsoever I came some minutes sooner second wife all right let's make them first wife so what second wife nothing to pass the time they start to work and for some minutes they are totally busy 
second wife looks at the first page of newspaper believe me you look like the murderer first wife and you think you don't second wife be quiet let's go on first shape butterfly first slice the potatoes and then cut butterflies out of them first wife second shape dragonfly slice the potatoes first and cut out the dragonflies to be mentioned that here the slices should be bigger than the first round second wife third shape bees noise from outside second wife listen I hear something some noise as if somebody's looking for you and getting closer I'm really getting afraid little bit by little I'm getting totally afraid but you you were here first remember clashes of some gadgets and house devices the man's voice getting louder and closer getting closer to the window the man's voice We'll buy iron pig, iron cast, iron will be bought, copper, bronze, metal, window frame. We're uh, we'll buying tin, zinc, plates will be bought, metal plates, copper plates, gun metal, uh, wooden Spoons, junk, cool junk, copper ladles, sponge slippers will buy all. The first woman goes to the window and closes the door. That heart. First wife. You do the odd numbers and I do the even numbers. Second wife. But we have only one knife. First wife. You read, and I'll do that. Second wife. No, I should have the knife. First wife. Here's my home, and I should have the knife. Second wife. First shape. Butterfly. First wife. I know this by my heart. You'd better keep quiet. While slicing the potatoes, she cuts her finger. Second wife. Ouch! Did it hurt? First wife. Fetch a piece of cloth. Quickly, quickly! Second wife. Where is it? First wife. I don't know. Second wife. It's your house and you don't know. First wife. Look into the drawers. It must be there second woman finds a piece of cloth and makes a bandage on the first woman's finger second wife give me that knife and take a rest first woman leaves the knife on the floor first wife what time is it second wife half past three first wife how did you find here second wife by chance First wife, here's my house. Why don't you understand? Second wife, nods her head, comprehending something. I see. Light fades. Second wife, she pretends that she's satisfied with uh, what she's doing by singing a song. Takes the shapes and looks at them one by one. Doesn't doesn't it make like the mud doesn't make like the model not like the butterfly not like the dragonfly none of them I'm totally fed up puts the knife and the potatoes down cleans her hand and she tries to rest she looks around as if she's looking for something she notices the rest of the newspaper that has been crumpled and thrown into the trash again did you throw that there first wife yes we did not need them second wife stands up and takes the newspaper out of the trash first wife i threw them away yesterday second wife the papers are for yesterday what's wrong 
she turns the pages over and finds a piece of news and reads it out loud. The police have arrested 11 women who looked like the murderer. Let me see. Isn't your name Pardis? First wife. Yes, it is. How on earth? How do you know that? Second wife. My name is Pardis Ziai. First wife. What? What? Repeat that? Second wife. Silence. first wife are you kidding how did you get this name how did you find out about this name second wife my name is Pardis Ziai as a matter of fact first wife you faked it what is it called a fake name sham second wife my name is Pardis Ziai do you get it first wife Get out of my house! Second wife, you came here before me to hide yourself. Besides, you threw that crumbled newspaper into the waste basket. How can you prove that this house is yours? First wife, neither can you. You cannot prove that the house is not mine. Second wife repeats. The police have already arrested 11 women who looked like the murderer. Looks at the photo. Looks like you. No? First wife. Doesn't this picture look like you? Second wife. It's very simple. You can go and introduce yourself to the police. First wife. If one of us is killed, it's exactly like that both of us have been killed. Second wife. Maybe. Silence. First wife. Parviz used to say that. Second wife. Parviz. First wife. Parviz, my husband, used to say. Second wife. How did you get to know about Parviz? First wife. His name is on my ID card. Do you want to see it? Second wife, stunned. No! First wife, he used to say. Second wife, let me see what Parviz looked like. Let me see what Parviz looked like. First wife, he was a tall man. Second wife, was he a tall man? First wife. Oh yeah, yes, he was a tall man. Silence. Second wife. Yes, her name was Parvis. First wife. Who? Second wife. The woman that Parvis used to talk about. Silence. First wife. That's right. So Parvis used to talk about me. Second wife. Yes. Silence. light goes off second wife monologue in a local light parvis what do you think you did you mean the key to this puzzle was in your hand you mean you did all this to us yes you knew the secret we too have one name one id or perhaps we have one husband parvis I mean, did you know this was going to happen? I mean, you knew from the beginning that we were two? Our identities, our existence, and we have been mistaken. Or maybe we had one husband. Does that mean we were both your wives? No. Maybe you've done this to us. No. Impossible. It must have been a mistake. Paravis. Why did you never say anything? Why didn't you say anything then? You must have known about this story. Definitely with this woman. No. Not. I wish I could kill you if this is true. 
God, I must be wrong. This is just a shadow standing in front of me. It must be a shadow. Light is back. Silence. Second wife. So, it was like that. First wife, yes. Silence. Second wife, how good it is for us to think about potatoes now. First wife, oh, yes, the potatoes. I was forgetting them. Silence. First wife, weights and measures potatoes. How big are these potatoes? Second wife, oh, yeah, these types are special for salad. Silence. Second wife, ha, ha, ha. First wife. The first woman plays with potatoes a little bit, but a little while later she gets bored, stops and walks a little away from potatoes. Silence. Remember whenever you want to forget a problem, make a salad. Second wife. That's right. I always do the same. But you know how to make salads? First wife. What about making a salad? Second wife. Nothing. Not a special thing silence first wife let me say something second wife what first wife nothing first wife tries to hide her anxiety and sighs <sighs> Paris used to say that the day a person is born is always second wife what day is your birthday first wife my birthday is on monday 26th of aban second wife surprised while her mouth is gaped 26th of aban murmuring how is it possible silence parts of the stage is dark only a local light on the second wife we do not see the first wife the second wife speaks to the mirror second wife I do not know why this happened. I was always frightened of such a resemblance. This is driving on my nerves. I can no longer be myself. Pause. Now I get why a black shadow had fallen in my coffee cup. Light returns to its previous position. First wife. What do you know about my birthday? Silence reigns. Gradually, the sound of drizzling rain. Light goes off. Light returns. Few minutes pass. The sound of rain gets louder. Second wife. Have you ever noticed how beautiful the sound of rain can be? Silence. First wife. It's pouring with rain. Silence. Second wife. I wish it was not raining. Damned rain. Now, is it the time to rain? Misery and rain. Second wife. It's not bad. Let it be. First wife. It's driving on my nerves. I hate this rain. Second wife. Be quiet. I want to hear the sound of rain. First wife. Now. Mockingly. Now. Second wife. Try to enjoy the sound of this rain. First wife. In anger. Look. You're not allowed to talk about this rain anymore silence the sound of rain second wife how do you know this much about me first wife i don't know anything about you silence reigns the sound of rain goes louder second wife we can ignore everything first wife why should we ignore things second wife everything that exists first wife is it possible second wife be quiet and enjoy the sound of rain. First wife, I can no longer enjoy it. Second wife, we can deny all. First wife, I cannot deny you. Do you understand? Do you really want to rec record everything by your own name or shoot your own shadow and kill it? You think so? Mockingly. Second wife, are you scared that you will be mistaken by me? Dog barking first wife we have been mistaken for 11 women so far what difference does it make who is the 12th second wife huh mockingly we are quite similar dog barking becomes louder silence rules 
first wife. I cannot defeat you, second wife. No. First wife impatiently goes to the corner of the room and counts the potatoes. We've got 34 potatoes. Second wife. So what? Silence reigns over the, r the room. First wife. What time is it now? Second wife. 4.25 minutes and 32 seconds. First wife. Is it 32 seconds now? Second wife. No, not that. 34 seconds. First wife, is it 34 seconds? Second wife, not that now. It's now 426. First wife, 426 minutes. Second wife, yes. First wife, what time is it now? Silence. Second wife, why does the time matter? First wife, that's right. Why does, does time matter then? when everything is distant beforehand silence second wife look every clock tells the same time and all the mir mirrors show us the same way light goes off in dim light we see their shadows over the room the sound of barking dogs and rain in the dark time passes the corner of mirror is broken now the room is darker than before first wife how horrible it is for someone to pursue you like a shadow. So what about you? I can't stand it. How horrible is it to fall in love with a man in your shadow? Give this shadow to the police. How horrible it is that you cannot take a step forward because your shadow may steal your movements. I was always afraid that I would not be myself. Don't you believe me? Second wife. Yes. First wife. Why did this coincidence take place? Why did we have to confront each other this very day? Second wife, we haven't been the only women and this game goes on and on. First wife, we can stop this. Second wife, then, then what about the 11 other women who were like us? First wife, we all have one fate. Second wife, but maybe one of us can survive first wife or maybe we can postpone everything second wife do you want to play with that mockingly we cannot do anything now we are just running out of the time we cannot stop the clock and we cannot stop what is going to happen after a few minutes doubtless i wish one of us could live with another name but i cannot i've grown up with this name parvis used to call me by this name when i look at my face in the mirror all those memories are reminded it's so bad that one day you can, can you confront yourself and you will have to destroy yourself you're just like me so I love you Paris loved you I mean you're my image in the mirror but but I cannot stand the image I can't I can't put up with you you're someone else another another person the image that has been separated from me but has shaped out of my identity i hate you i hate you i wish you could get lost without seeing me anymore why don't you give me that knife give it to me give me that knife give me that knife pondering stares at the mirror i have always been suspicious of my own image in the mirror first wife what do you want to do with that knife second wife i want to go on and cut shapes out first wife she does not move and stares at her astonished i do not think it is necessary now second wife suspicious i said give me that knife first wife tries to stop her i said that this is my house and the knife should be in my hand grabs the knife light goes off light returns locally to the position of the second woman second wife in the dark and looking upward looks at the local light we all became prisoners of one name and one face we are all captive 
us. It was the mirror that betrayed us. That form of eyebrows and the shape of lips were captivating, and the only possible display was the beauty that imprisoned us. But I painted my face just like you, to become beautiful. The expression of your eyes which bewitched me. I was meant to be the most beautiful, and I became the most beautiful woman, and you deceived me. Now my eyes are charming, just like your eyes. My eyelids are wearing your makeup. I'm the most similar woman to you. You became me and I lost my name and I lost my identity. So this happened that I lost my existence. Parvez did not love me. He loved the expression of a woman's lips and eyes that did not belong to me and had been painted on my face. The face that was uh, alien to me but had made me its captive. I wish there was a way to escape or everything was supposed to happen this way. I became bound to fight with you, you, my second face. I was cast to fight with you. You made me a captive because you were like me, because I had to tell everyone that you were different from me. And I became you now, but you, you are another being and you're not made of me. And now I... I just want to get rid of you because I have to do that. I have to tell myself I am Pardis. I, I do not care what will happen. The important thing is that I destroy you with my own hands and I'm going to get rid of you. The game is over. The game of all women of a man or the game of all the women in the world who are, who are all with one face and cannot have an identity. But maybe I'm different from others. It was me who Parviz was in love with. I, I was the one who killed him. I was the one who killed Parviz's wives. The games of all Parviz's wives. And it should end somewhere. But Parviz just loved me. That beautiful face belonged only to me. Only and only to me. Now I play the whole game of these women. And I finish that. I'll do that. Light is overexposed. And it is much better that you are the twelfth and not I who can be the thirteenth woman. No, it's not me. I do not want to be the next I do, and I do not want to be the thousandth first wife with her hand on the knife moving that on the table. So what about the police? The second woman struggles to grab the knife. The barking guff, the dog gets louder. They are in struggle for some moments. The screaming, the barking of the dogs and the rain are mixed. Their shadows are seen in struggle for minutes. Both women have been killed. Light goes off, light comes back. Two bodies on the stage, the light goes off. The noise of people from outside, the noise lessens and the light gets on gradually. After some moments of silence, a woman that is dressed in black enters with her hair covered in a black scarf. The woman is quite like the other two women. She is just like the first. She looks around in astonishment and tries to hide herself. She looks into the furniture around the room and finally notices the newspaper in the waste basket. Third wife uh, reads the newspaper slowly. Thursday the 6th of Azar 1386. The police have arrested 13 women so far. They have all resembled the murderer. Two of them have been found dead. The end.